Greetings. This is astrologer Pam Younghans, and this is my North Point Astrology Journal for the week of April 1st to 7th, 2024. At the time of the lunar eclipse on March 25th, we crossed the threshold into a world that is painted with different colors than we are normally used to. During the two-week period between eclipses, life can seem surreal, events move quickly, and situations may reach a crisis or turning point. We also experience emotions and physical issues more profoundly. Adding to the intensity of recent days, solar flare activity has been heightened since last Monday's lunar eclipse. In the seven days since the lunation, we've had one very potent X-class flare, the highest class of flares, and 17 major M-class eruptions, three of which at M9+, plus were virtually X-class flares. Studies by the National Institutes of Health and other scientific organizations have shown that solar flares have a significant impact on our physical, emotional, and mental state. With so many strong flares occurring at the same time that we are managing the heavy karmic load of eclipse season, self-care is especially important right now. Please be very gentle with yourself and kind to others this week. Drinking electrolyte fluids, connecting to nature, and getting extra rest to sleep are vital throughout this impactful time. The total solar eclipse on April 8th is a powerful one with strong effects on our individual life path and our collective evolution. The energies of the eclipse will be building throughout the coming week, so life may feel a bit hectic, emotions could be erratic, and people may be more reactive than usual. This is a good time to focus on releasing and forgiving the past and to cleanse our bodies and our energy fields in preparation for the new moon. I'll write more about the eclipse in next week's journal, of course. Adding another complication to the mix of energies this eclipse season, Mercury stations retrograde on Monday, April 1st. This event is a very appropriate addition to April Fool's Day, since retrograde Mercury is often called the trickster. While the messenger planet is moving backward in Aries from April 1st to 25th, it is important to take our time with all new projects, decisions, and communications. The weeks when Mercury is retrograde are best suited for review and introspection to ensure that all actions and plans are in full alignment with our core needs and best timing. If major decisions must be made or papers must be signed over the next four weeks, be sure to take the process slowly and deliberately. As I've shared with some of my clients, my only major snafu related to a Mercury retrograde period was when I rushed to get legal papers signed and submitted just hours before the station occurred. In my foolish attempt to outwit and outrun retrograde Mercury, I created a mess that took a full year to sort through and remedy. Here are my brief interpretations of this week's most important planetary aspects. Monday is the day that Mercury stations retrograde. Mercury comes to a standstill at 3.14 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time and slowly begins to move backward through Aries. This retrograde period will last until April 25th. There are no major aspects exact on Tuesday. On Wednesday, Venus is conjunct Neptune. This is the annual alignment between Venus, representing the human heart and personal love, and Neptune, which symbolizes the high heart and divine love. Under this influence, it is easier to be compassionate and forgiving and to express sympathy and understanding. One caution with this conjunction is to use discernment. Since idealism is heightened and we can miss red flags, this is true in relationships and also with potential purchases, resulting in buyer's remorse when the planets move on and the rosy glow fades. On Thursday, Mars is semi-square Eris. Mars and Eris are the two warrior planets and a hard aspect between them indicates potential controversies and quarrels. Also on Thursday, the Sun is conjunct the North Node. This alignment highlights the current evolutionary growth path for humanity and also activates the energies of next Monday's total solar eclipse. With the North Node in Aries, we are shown that being true to oneself is a vital part of spiritual growth. 
and on Thursday, Venus enters Aries. Venus will be in pioneering Aries for the next 25 days, supporting risk-taking in the areas of relationships and creative endeavors. Because of the need to feel more energies in these areas of life experience, we can feel impatient with older teens and are drawn to try something new. There are no major aspects exact on Friday. On Saturday, Mercury is semi-square Mars. We may feel more argumentative than we would like and eager to express our opinions. However, especially with Mercury now retrograde, it will be very important to weigh our words carefully before sending them out into the world. And Venus is sextile Pluto on Saturday. This aspect can stir excitement and passion about a new project or person. There are no major aspects exact on Sunday. If your birthday is this week, the theme of healing is strong this year. You may be very aware of your need to receive it or a desire to give it or both. Learning to love the wounded self, the inner child who may still feel insecure or fearful is a significant step in your growth process. As you do this inner work, you gain new courage and self-assuredness that will enable you to shine even more brightly. You are also learning the importance of good personal boundaries, especially with family members or those you usually take care of. This is astrologer Pam Younghans wishing you an insightful week. Thank you for being with me on this journey. We hope that you have enjoyed this article. For over 30 years, we at Inner Self have sought to encourage new attitudes and new possibilities. For more inspiration, visit us at InnerSelf.com. Thank you. Visit the Inner Self Market for new attitudes and new possibilities. You'll find inspiring books, wonderful music CDs, audiobooks, card decks, candles, jewelry, gifts, all kinds of wonderful things. Visit us at market.innerself.com.